Hello and welcome back. Uh, here we have a commercial jetliner that is traveling at a constant speed of 250 meters per second. When it executes an emergency 180 degree turn, that is half a circle. It says if the turn takes 20 seconds, what is the acceleration experienced by the passengers and then we are also interested in the radius of uh, curvature of the curve corresponding to this situation. Observe that this is a curvilinear motion and uh, based on the given information we want to use the path coordinates, the NT coordinates, that is a coordinate system that is attached to the moving particle. I think it would be beneficial if I draw the path of motion. So let this be, let's say, a circle. I erase half of it to show um, the path of the plane as it turns 180 degrees. So let's say that because it is traveling at a constant speed of 250 meters per second, uh, constant speed uh, implies that tangential acceleration is zero. And recall that velocity is always tangent to the path of motion. So if I draw it here, it is a vector in that direction. If I graph it here, it is tangent to the path Right there, I can show a vertical vector, and right there it is, oops, it is a um, vector tangent to the path. <coughs> Excuse me. So let this arrow and the other and these vectors represent velocity, which is tangent to the path. And this velocity... It's changing in direction, but its uh, magnitude, which is called speed, is constant 250 meters per second. As far as acceleration is concerned, uh, recall that acceleration has two components. One, tangent to the path and the other normal. Normal to the path has to be perpendicular to tangent. Therefore, if I draw the acceleration, say, at this point, it has to be pointing towards center of curvature. Normal component of acceleration here goes that way, or if I draw it here, it'll be a vector in vertical direction here it'll be a vector like that so let this or let these represent the acceleration normal component of acceleration I should draw the arrowhead to show the direction is radially pointing inward <laughs> an so I hope this diagram can help to see what is going on better so this is velocity at that location therefore since this is constant tangential component of acceleration which is derivative of speed with respect to time is zero and recall that for the normal component of acceleration we have v squared over rho rho being radius of curvature v being speed or alternatively i can write v theta dot so here the turn is a 180 degree turn 180 degrees but note that we want to use it in radians so that is pi radians <coughs> And the time corresponding to this is 20 seconds. So you see how I can calculate theta dot and plug it in the given equation for a n and solve the equation for rho. Therefore, 
v squared which is 250 squared divided by rho equals to uh, v theta dot so I can I could have cancelled the power of 2 with v and I can write 250 over rho equals to theta dot which is um, pi divided by 20 seconds solving this equation for rho we have 20 times 250 20 times 250 divided by pi uh, so that is 5000 over pi if you take a calculator and divide the radius of curvature turns out to be 1592 meters if I round to the whole number that's approximately um, close to a mile this is observed that this is 1.59 kilometers or uh, one kilo uh, one mile equals to 1.6 kilometers so you could say this is roughly a mile but as far as a uh, normal component of acceleration, acceleration experienced by the passengers are, uh, is concerned, you see how I can get that an equals to v squared over rho or 250 squared over uh, 1592. I'm using primary units in metric system, therefore my answer will be in meters per second squared a n turns out to be 39.37 meters per second squared i want to show you another way of finding the radius of curvature observe that when the plane um, turns half a cycle half a circle the arc length if i call it s the arc length S, recall from your geometry, is rho theta. And arc length is rho, rho times theta, but at the same time, the distance, which is the same as S, which is the arc length, recall that because I have a constant speed, I can say distance traveled is Vt. Okay, I have T, I have V. I could have solved this equation for rho. That's another way of looking at this situation. 250 times 20 divided by theta, which is pi. I still get a value of 1592 meters. So that's an alternative way of looking at it because we have a constant radius of curvature here. Thank you for watching.